Hey, it's Mark Podolsky, The Land Geek, with your favorite niche real estate website, thelandgeek.com. And on this week's Roundtable Podcasts, we have almost all the usual suspects. We've got the Zen Master, breathe in the mailing, breathe out the marketing, Mike Zeno. Mike, how are you doing? Great. Thank you for asking. How are you? I'm well. Thank you. We've got your partner in crime from the Nightcap. Dude, buddy, the Nightcap OG, Scott Bossman. Scott, how are things? Uh, Mark, they're great. Happy to be here. Good to see you. We've got Taria putting in the reps, Harris. Taria, how are things with you? Wonderful. Good to see you. We've you got, too. Yeah, thank you. The technician, Eric Peterson. Eric, how's that Traeger treating you? No complaints. No complaints. I've got a complaint. I still don't have one. <laughs> and... Last but not least, I love it when you call me Big Papa, Tate Litchfield. Tate, good to see you. How are you? Thanks. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing well. Thank you. We've got a great topic, I think, because it's very self-serving. We're talking about boot camp coming up January 21st to the 23rd. I'd say it tongue-in-cheek and it's self-serving. We really are there to serve the people with the Investor's Toolkit, Flight School, our coaching clients, because it's virtual. You have unlimited now tickets to virtual bootcamp, but I think it's just a nice reminder of why we do a two and a half day training weekend and what our favorite parts are about the weekend. So he loves going first. I might as well just ask him straight away, the Zen master, even though it's 2022, yeah. we're not changing the order. Why change now? Around. Okay, why, why change it? <laughs> if it's working. Uh, you know, I, I, what I love about going over and over to the boot camps is I see deeper, you know, uh, deeper into the different segments we do. Like you, you do a wealth presentation, you know, uh, what, you know, the, what you're meaning of definition of wealth and your life experience. And depending where I am in, in my personal journey, I get more and more out of that. So honestly, I just love the fact that, you know, I tell people to sort of relate that to what, when we're talking about people who come into the business, should I go to boot camp now? Should I go later? And I said, well, lucky for you, uh, you get unlimited access to virtual boot camps if you work with us in Flight School, the toolkit. And wherever you are in the business, you're going to find meaning. So it doesn't matter if you're brand new or if you're an expert or anywhere in between. Um, what you're going to hear is something relative, related to uh, where you are in the business at that day, right? So it can't substitute for our four-month live training. Uh, it's just because that is such a, a, you know, an exact recipe and it takes the time to, to flush out all that that brings. But it can certainly inspire you, motivate you, and bring something something that's actionable in that moment in your business. Now, the same thing goes for me or anybody else. No matter how long you've been in the business, somebody is going to have a fresh uh, look at something that you've been doing for a long time and you're going to rethink it. You're going to adjust it. You're going to improve it. Even if it's a small improvement, it's going to make a huge difference. So I just love that, that going back in, seeing the same thing, but with fresh eyes and from a fresh point in my life. No, I agree. Sometimes I'll pick up a great book that I, I've read many times. I would just, I'll just be in a different place in my life and it'll mean something different to me at that point in time. And it's the same thing in business. Uh, when I, I'll hear a different uh, strategy or, or tactic. Maybe I've heard a million different ways, a million different times, but because my business has changed, and because I've changed, it means something different to me now and I can execute on it in a different way. So I, I think it's a really important uh, yeah. you know, way of sort of saying, well, yeah, I've been to seven boot camps. Well, there's a reason you went to seven, but yeah. you know, like, I mean, I think Jeff Detmer has been to 15, I, I remember. <laughs> And, and he said the same things. Like I, I get something new and different every single time. Right. The overall education of it piece of it doesn't change that much in the sense that the business doesn't change that much, but yet you'll hear something in a, in a way that's different and you can execute it in a, in a, in a different way because you're not, you know, you've, you're, you've matured, right? I remember the, the early boot camps. getting the list was such a big deal. Right. Now we don't even talk about getting the list. So it, you know, it, it's just, it's just such a unique individual experience yeah. each time it, you go. 
it's 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 evolving as we evolve the the boot camp and like things that we had to do years ago right there's we don't have to do this anymore things have come up there's actually a saying in one of the martial arts i've studied uh, uh since i was in my 20s and it's all about every moment can hold the key to the enlightenment that you seek right so when you go into the training it's like there could be something presented today that's going to be the one piece that I, that I need, that's going to open up. So like, Oh my gosh, it opens up everything. And I think our business is very similar in that regard, probably everything in life. Right. But that's why it's good to go back and back to the source where you're connected to real people that have a, a authentic uh, business model that works and works really well. And, and just to seek that one piece that could really change everything. Yeah, absolutely. And speaking of authentic, let's bring it over to dude, buddy, the <laughs> nightcap OG, Scott Bossman, Scott, what are your feelings about boot camp? Well, there's not much I don't love about boot camp, but the, one of the things I really love is I love the boot camp magic, right? Mark, you talk about this all the time. You've never had a boot camp where somebody hasn't done a deal. And to see those deals go down in real time, and honestly, to see it, a couple times now, I think Taria has assisted someone with their Facebook ad. And then during the weekend, we watch their Facebook ad and the leads that come in. And people now one or two times since we've been doing that here in the last year, uh, they've closed a deal because of the live online training that Taria is doing with them on Facebook Marketplace. And then we have other people doing deals throughout the weekend. It's, it's fun to kind of do a breakdown and uh, real-time analysis of the numbers you know, uh, your acquisition price, what you sold it for, how long it took you to sell, where'd you sell it. But the fact that that's happening at boot camp, it's just a huge proof of concept for people in the room that haven't done it. And it's very exciting. And, um, you know, it just, uh, I think it just feeds, just fuels the, the fire in the entire group and motivates people to, to, to leave and go home and execute and get their first deal done. Um, so I, I love, I love it when deals go down in real time at boot camp. I, I love it. I love it. Taria putting in the reps Harris. What are some of your favorite things about boot camp? Or uh, so favorite? one of my, I have two. So one of my favorite is, I don't know. It's just something about when you get together with other land geeks and just the energy that we leave boot camp. even me as a coach, I leave like, okay, my business can be better. Right. I just, I leave charged. And I also leave enlightened because there are issues that no one's business is exempt of issues, but you have this collaborative group that you just get to talk with and hash things out. I love that. Um, another thing I like is, um, my module, if that's not too self-serving, but the Facebook module, uh, Facebook changes. It changes all the time. So as I get new information and I gather new information about how Facebook works or how it doesn't work, um, we relay that information right at boot camp. So if people are struggling with their Facebook or having issues with it, you know, you can come to boot camp and get what we know as the latest and the greatest of how to make Facebook successful for you. Because what we taught a year ago, Facebook does, may not even allow anymore. So you get the most current information as we know it on how to navigate some of these tools. Yeah, I love that. There's that, that cliche, if you, if you are really, you know, want to be great at something, teach it. Mm -hmm. Because then you have to go, it's so much deeper into it. So um, yeah, I, I don't think it's self-serving. I think it's, it's uh, a really, a really good point uh, for sure. The technician, Eric Peterson. What do you love about boot camp? I can't believe we got all the way to me and no one has brought it up yet. I think it was on purpose, but it's Grill the Geeks, right? <laughs> Everybody's yeah. favorite segment of boot camp is Grill the Geeks. And I think the the rationale behind that is is pretty obvious. It it communicates through people's real life stories how this business applies to their life and, and how it has changed them. And, and being able to, to hear those stories live, um, I think it makes an impact on, on everybody in the room from, you know, us as, as coaches to, you know, someone just coming into this land business model, you know, at day one. Um, it's just, it's really great to have that interaction with those people that are doing the business and the results that are getting. Um, I think that has an amazing impact on everybody in the room. Yeah, he did steal mine. 
That's it's I, I love Grizzly <laughs> Geeks, and it, it's so true because it, it makes it so much more, re, more real and relatable uh, to everybody. It's just exciting to hear those stories and how people's lives have literally changed um, from working that business model uh, consistently and diligently. Um, I love it when you call me Big Papa, Tate Litchfield. Tate, what's your favorite segment of boot camp? You know, I love, well, I love the whole weekend. I think everything about it is great. It's honestly something I, I genuinely look forward to. When we're in the live um, boot camps, I really enjoy um, the VIP room. It's, it's a pretty powerful environment in there. It's really cool to be sitting down and just going really, really deep and geeky into certain topics. But I also just loved the, the interactive aspect of boot camp. Like I've made friends at boot camp that I still communicate with, you know, from six, seven years ago. And it's not just because I'm one of the coaches or anything like that. It's people who I've built relationships with. And I know that there's other people who attend boot camp just because they want to have the opportunity to, to talk land with somebody who actually gets it like they do. And so I think that's powerful. Like those meetups are really, really um, influential in our, in our daily lives, because without them, if you're a full-time land investor, this, this world can be pretty boring and it can be kind of lonely too. So these meetups really help uh, not only forge relationships, but helps you add a few new contacts into your Rolodex. And as a lot of us know, it's helpful to have people in your corner, right? If I need something, I know I can pick up the phone and call any one of my close friends and find that property relatively easily. doesn't mean it'll be cheap, but I can find it. And that's, that's really um, comforting. Yeah. I think what's really special and unique about our community is that everybody has this abundance mentality and mm -hmm. wants to help everyone else out. Like no one's holding their cards close to their chest. And for whatever reason, everyone's just kind of cool. Like you don't leave boot camp, and I, I mean, I, I, I know, I know, I don't. Like, you know, you have a room of almost a hundred people here. There's not one of them I wouldn't, you know, want to have a drink with um, when I was drinking. So I've quit alcohol, but before that. I would, you know, I could have a what a seven up with anyone in that room. It's not as cool, but there's just, but to make a long story short, everyone in the room is just very cool and fun and abundance minded. And I, I, I think that you know everyone who's listening to this that's been to a live boot camp is shaking their head like, yeah, it's one of those things that you have to experience. You can't just hear it; you have to actually, um, you know, feel that that energy and that that sort of that magical community um, in, in real time. Virtually speaking though, even just people answering each other's questions in the chat, you get a sense, oh my gosh, that was brilliant what you know, uh, that person said. Because you know, we've got coaching students in there, we have flight school students in there, we have toolkit people in there that might've only had the toolkit for a week and they just got through it. So everyone's at different levels and learning at a different, in a different way. And it's, it's, it's really special to see. And I think for me, uh, my favorite part of boot camp is not just Grill the Geeks, which is one of my favorite parts, but you know, this, every segment where Eric tells his story, uh, Scott Todd tells a story, Tate tells a story, Taria tells her story. And you just get to know the coaches better at a deeper level and then see how they share their knowledge, their wisdom, their experience through the years. And just that one turn of phrase, that one thing that they show you can make all the difference. And then we see how that difference is made six months, a year, maybe even two years down the road, just because that person committed that time, that two and a half days uh, to, to spend that time to not just learn how to create more passive income, but be a better CEO, um, just be a better business person, a better entrepreneur and think differently as well. Because the whole idea is not to create another job for yourself. The whole idea is to have that passive income exceed your fixed expenses so that you can work when you want, where you want, with whom you want and have total freedom to move up Maslow's hierarchy of needs into self-actualization. 
So it's the, the whole weekend is, is very, very special. And um, if you have not registered, go to the landgeek.com forward slash bootcamp. If you don't have the toolkit and you want to register for the bootcamp, you have to get the toolkit first because we want everyone to have at least a foundation of knowledge so that we can move at a quicker pace. So everyone's singing from the same song street. That's why we do it that way. It's not like other events where you kind of go in knowing nothing. Um, this is a fast moving event. It's very intense. You want to have that, that information for sure. So if you haven't registered, go to landgeek.com forward slash bootcamp. We only have a hundred spots. Um, so don't delay. Well, I thought this was a good topic, but now we're at that point in the podcast where we're going to ask for the tip of the week, a website, a resource, a book, something actual for the auto pass to make listeners to go improve their businesses and improve their lives. Tate, before we come to you though. Wait, I don't do tips of the week. <laughs> That's why I didn't even participate in the nose goes because I've just I, I've exempt what? myself. I'm, yeah. I'm I'm tip of the week exempt. I've got a tip of the week. Don't worry, I got I got you this week. But next week, be more step prepared. outside to go to the bathroom, come back, and you guys assign the tip of the week to me. What? Today's, we know you're always ready. Yeah, today's podcast is sponsored by Flight School. Learn how the next 16 weeks can transform your life. Go up the mountain of land investing quickly, safely, efficiently with Scott Todd, who's done it thousands of times as your Sherpa. How nice a year from now to have so much passive income that maybe you want to quit your job. You're spending more time with your family. You're doing whatever you want to do in life because the passive income exceeds your fixed expenses. But the best thing is no one's calling you at three in the morning. My land is leaking. No headaches, no renters, no rehabs, no renovations, no rodents. Learn more, go to landgeek.com forward slash training. The landgeek.com forward slash training. All right. Does anyone else have a tip of the week besides me? Because I do have a pretty good tip. Go for it, Mark. Go ahead, Mark. You can do it. We'll let you do it. Okay. I've, I'm like, I've got this audio book. I'm about three hours in. I can't remember a book I like this much um, and haven't even finished it. It's Oliver Berkman's 4,000 Weeks, The Antidote or, or The or time management for mortals. And it is just fantastic. He is a recovering productivity time management junkie. And he talks about his story. Um, but it's, he, he really explains so clearly um, the, the, the deep problem we have being human beings and our sense of time. And it's, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to give you anything more than that. Just get the book and then email me and thank me later. But if you haven't read it, read it. If you've already read it, this is one of the books I'm going to read like quarterly. Uh, so far, just like Ted Lasso was my show of 2020. Uh, this is my book of 2022 so far. Uh, Time management for mortals. Time management for mortals. I, I'd say that it's it's one of those books that really gives you a whole new lens on how you see your life in time and eases that anxiety that we all sort of have, this, this sort of existential crisis that we all have that, you know, we only have 4,000 weeks on average, right? If you live to 80, how are you going to use that time? And, you know, basically you've got Parkinson's law, right? So the more you do, the more, you know, time, the work expands to fill the time. So, you know, those people who are going to inbox zero, it's like Sisyphus, right? Rolling that, that, that rock up the hill. Like, yeah, you got to inbox zero, bing, and you got another email. It just never ends. So this book is, is, is really just a great sort of reminder of the, the reality that we're all in as far as managing our time and living our best lives and being productive. So, Oliver Berkman, 4,000 weeks, time management for mortals is my tip. Of Does he talk week. about email management? He talks about it all. Yeah, he gives, he gives, he's got, he weaves in philosophy. He weaves in um, how to, uh, it's, it's all in there. So it's, it's great. Um, and just our, like, like, you know, like I have a, 
the attention span of a fair and a double cappuccino. Why is that, right? It used to be when I was a kid, I could just read a book. Now I'll read a book, I'll read a, you know, a couple pages and all of a sudden I'll see my mind wandering. I don't have the attention span I used to have. So it's just a good reminder of, of you know, um, all these things that we're, we're all sort of uh, grappling with in our, in our lives. None of us are immune from it. Maybe Tria, but the rest of us mortals are not immune. Yeah, no sure. mortal. Right. Um, all right, well, I thought this was a, a great podcast, good topic. And uh, are we good? Yeah. All right. All right well, I want to thank the listeners, remind them the only way that we're going to be able to continue providing such valuable roundtable content is if you do those three little favors, follow, rate, review the podcast, send us a screenshot of that review, support at the I'm going to send you for free a signed copy of Dirt Rich. Even if you have Dirt Rich, a signed copy is pretty cool. It's going for about 10 Ethereum right now um, on some... yeah, I love when people good. measure things in crypto. <laughs> That's the new thing. I love it. The new thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's going to be worth a lot one day. So definitely uh, do that. It really helps us as well because I know their egos aren't fragile, but mine is. And I check obsessively the reviews. I read them. Please do it. Really helps. All right. We ready to do this? One, yes. two, three. Let's Let freedom, freedom ring. ring. All right. Not bad. Any, anybody watching any good shows? Well, I'm watching The Witcher. I think that's pretty good. The Winter? Good. Winter? Witcher. The Witcher. 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 Oh, okay. Witcher. I've never heard of it. I've heard of Jack Reacher. Yeah. It's the guy who plays Superman. It's sort of like Henry a Game Cavill. of Thrones. Yeah. It's pretty good. If you get into it, it's like a Game of Thrones, but a little different. Okay. That's quite <laughs> that's quite the recommendation. I don't know. Oh it's wow. A, Go to Subway, get a sandwich. It's pretty good. <laughs> oh, it's pretty all right. Cobra Kai right. season four is pretty knock your pants off. Like that's insane. Come on. You gotta watch okay, that. now now you got a recommendation. I'll go see that. Like that is such so feel good TV. Uh, anybody who's watched the original Karate Kid and followed that series, it's like they're they're, they're knocking it out of the park. It's unbelievable. Will you say Pac one more time? <laughs> Come on, Mark. <laughs> Never gets old for me. <clears throat> All right. Well, thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. Me. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Mark. See you everyone next week. Thanks for listening to the Art of Passive Income podcast. Are you ready to learn how you can start building a passive income without renters, rehabs, renovations, or rodents? Schedule a free consultation at thelandgeek.com forward slash training. Let freedom ring.